Hi folks, Dallas here with Privateer Press. Last time, we got our blight on painting up some Satixis skin tones. Today, we'll take command of our inks and paint the vibrant reds of the Kador army. Let's get started. All right, to get started on our Man of War here, and you can see that I've left his little shield and his little ax off, and that's just to make it easier for painting. That's not always necessary, but sometimes it helps. To get started, we're gonna use some Kador Red Base. We're just gonna get some of that out on our palette here. We're gonna need quite a bit. Seems good. I'm just gonna loosen my paint with just a little drop of water on my brush and just apply some thin base coats. I'm just using the tip of the brush. This is a base coat, so you can be a little messy at this stage. It's not the end of the world. So just as long as you get a nice smooth coat. You want to do as many coats as it takes. You'll, you'll know. Sometimes it's three. Just depends on how much you thin your paint. Now certain colors like red and yellow, are, they're fairly thin pigment. So that's why it takes a couple coats of paint to get that on there. I love these Man of War models. They're so cool. They got these big bellies, big steam bellies. Just cool looking. All right, with our first coat on, it's time to apply the second coat. Once again, just keep going till I get that nice smooth coat. All right, once our base coat is dry, we're gonna apply our first shade. And for that, we'll be using Sanguine Base and use our old brush and pull some of that out. A little touch of water to loosen it. There we go. I'll get a little on my brush here. And just work a nice shadow. So if you got your shadow color on any part you don't want, you can just go back and kind of take your base paint and just re-go over that just to bring your base color back over anywhere you might have got shadow color that you don't want to actually want it. And this might get covered with a highlight later, or it might not, depending on where you put your highlights. Sometimes it's good to be clean, especially these little rivets down here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick those out with a little dot of Kato Red Base. Kind of just went over those with the Sanguine Base. All right, for the second shade, we're gonna take some Exile Blue. We're just gonna mix that right into the Sanguine Base, just like that. You want a nice dark purpley color, leaning a little more to the blue side of it. Maybe a little bit more Sanguine Base. And all we're gonna do with this is put this in the very deepest shadows and on the underside of armor. See how dark that is there? So definitely the underside of like these plates like this. I like putting this color in there. Like that. I'm gonna use it as like a line to define this area between these two armor plates, just to give that some nice darkness. Maybe here in this little corner. You can blend it out. You don't have to. Let's put a little in the deepest shadow of this side, that belly. Exile like blue is such a versatile color. I really like it. So for highlights, we're gonna take some Kato Red highlight and get some of that out on my palette. We're gonna add a couple drops Kato Red base to the highlight. Nice warm orange color. If you want, you can add a drop of P3 mixing medium. This helps add to the translucency of the highlights. And I'm just gonna 
apply some highlights to the upper edges and surfaces. Maybe put a little blend on them. Maybe the top of these rivets. This upper edge of this armor plate. I really like to define the armor plates nice and sharp. These frontmost rivets get a little dot. Maybe a little bit on that bottom edge, not much. And because this belly is on the bottom, really, really heavily shadowed, I'm going to put a little bit of Kato Red in that. For our next highlight, we're going to take Kato Red Highlight. Grab some of that out, and some Minoth White Highlight. And what this is going to do, this is going to create a very peachy color. And you're going to be like, this doesn't look right. And that's okay. It's supposed to look wrong at this stage. Because there's one more stage that'll make it look right. If you're not feeling confident at this stage, you can build this up slowly with maybe doing like two or three tones of these mixed together and building up to the to this brightness. We're just gonna go straight in on this. And this is just going on the very edge. This looks really weird right now. Looks very kind of bizarre and stark, but that's okay. This is part of why I like painting Kator so much. It's got this unique step where it looks like I'm messing it up. But in reality, I'm doing it just right. All right, for our next step, we're going to glaze the entire surface with a drop of red ink and about 15 drops of clean water. So now I'm just going to glaze. So I'm going to load my brush, remove most of it, and all a glaze is is a layer of paint very thinly goes over the surface. And I don't want it to puddle and pull. It's not like a wash. I want it to cover all the red. And what this does is kind of creates a filter of red over top of all these elements. So those very peachy highlights, they're going to start to turn red. But it also smooths out all those transitions between your paint colors. And I'm going to go over this about 12 times to get the intense red color of Kator Armor. Now, of course, to speed this process up, I like to use a hair dryer between each glaze step. One of the steps of painting is patience, but sometimes I'm ready to get going. Okay, now you can start seeing that glaze actually starting to really pull in my reds there. P3 inks are very highly pigmented. They have a lot of punch, so that's why you tone this down. It's better to do multiple thin layers. You don't want to just go in with pure red ink. Take your time and build it up. With our glazing complete, our red is now bright, intense, and ready for action. Let's go ahead and black in all these other elements and see how it looks cleaned up. All right, with a little Thamar Black cleanup, you can see that shiny red armor in action and ready to go. Now that is some red to impress the Empress. Next time, we'll bling out the metal on those Kador medals. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links in the description below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 hobby line. Now that is some red to impress the Empress. Lail shall burn. I don't think we should use that. <laughs> I'll stop. I will, I'll, I'll cut that out.